Welcome to American Dream Selling Kansas City, a city known for barbecue, crazy sports fans, and of course, our beautiful fountains. I'm your host, Adriana Bates, and we're gonna go all around town to take a look at some amazing real estate and experience our culture and our lifestyle. American Dream, welcome to Kansas City. Welcome to the American Dream, Selling Kansas City. I'm your host, Danny Beyer, and today we're in Kansas City's Power and Light District downtown. Let's go take a look. We are here with Matt Basinger, founder of SwellSpark. Matt, tell us about SwellSpark. Where we're at right now is in Sinker's Lounge. Yep. What is a SwellSpark? You're like, you see the sign behind us, this is Sinker's, but SwellSpark is our operating company. Uh, we do entertainment concepts primarily here in Kansas City. So we have Sinker's Lounge mini golf. Next door, we have Blade and Timber Axe Throwing in the River Market. Just a little bit north, we have Breakout KC. Uh, we try to gather people for shared experiences and make it easy to have fun. Awesome. So in short, we just want to have fun. I love it. We wanted to take mini golf and make it for adults, okay. essentially. So Sinker's Lounge is a mini golf cocktail bar. Yeah. It's a place where you can come out. You know, we're right here, basically in the heart of the Power and Light District yes. here in Kansas City. It's some competitive socializing. And so um, I like to win. I don't know how you feel about I love winning. Scoreboards. Love to show you what we're all about. Let's do it. Yeah. We've been open for a year and it's been so cool to see just how Kansas City has embraced us, like has come here, has experienced this vision that we've been building over the course of the last, you know, years in order to get this really cool entertainment concept. This whole area has just become the heart of Kansas City. Yeah. Um, when you think about friends coming in, when you're looking to move here, like all these things, it's like, this is where all the action is. I mean, there was no question. Yeah. This is where you want to be. We are here at the Turner Construction Office in downtown Kansas City with Senior Project Manager Bethany Riley. Bethany, tell us, what do you do here? So I am a Senior Project Manager, as you mentioned. I manage multiple project teams on um, a few projects at a time to turn over a successful project to our clients. Um, I support them to get the project done from start to finish and I'm involved in the day-to-day -day activities awesome. of a project. Uh, what are your favorite projects that you've worked on so far at Turner? So my favorite projects at Turner aren't always the most complex projects. They're the projects that impact the community sure. that we live in and we work in. Some that come to mind are Kansas City Girls Prep Academy. Um, just being involved with that since the beginning and really making an impact on those young women and their future. This summer I was involved with Notre Dame to Scion High School and we built some new steam labs for them. Um, and they're like night and day how much better their spaces are for them to learn in. Um, and then I'm on the board for Crossroads Charter Schools, but working towards um, better learning spaces for them has been really rewarding. So. Impactful, it's important yeah. to love what you do every yeah. day. We are here with Christy Turner. Christy is the manager of the Special Projects Division here at Turner Construction. Christy, tell us, why do you work for Turner? Um, well, I've been in the commercial construction industry um, in Kansas City for over 20 years. Um, so I've worked for a lot of different companies sure. and through my work with the National Association of Women in Construction, I realized that I wanted to be working for a company where women really had the opportunity to lead and manage and Turner is one of the most diverse contractors um, across the country. So certainly also diverse in Kansas City. Uh, tell us what projects that you guys are working on downtown. What are your favorite um, things that you guys have done? Sure. Um, so we have a lot of projects going yeah. on all over the city, um, some of which are super big and we can't talk about, <laughs> but other ones that are really fun. So I finished a project out at Starlight um, last summer. That was a very exciting project for our team. Um, really fun to build that relationship and be part of a project, an iconic venue like Starlight. Um, working at some of the little shops on the plaza, um, yes. keeping those clients happy, so that's always fun. And I personally have the honor of serving as the owner's rep on the new 1400 Baltimore Tower downtown. Nice. So 18 story building, pretty proud of that one. Good. Thank you for joining us in downtown Kansas City for this episode of the American Dream Selling Kansas City. We'll see you next time. Welcome to
to American Dream TV. We're your hosts, Jennifer Butler. And Adam Butler. And today we're gonna to look at two places. Not only they help out domestic animals, but also wild animals. We're gonna start here at KC Pet Projects, KC Campus for Animal Care. It's one of the largest non-kill pet shelters in the United States of America. From here, we're gonna head right across the street to Lakeside Nature Center. So let's get this show on the road. I'm here with Tori, Chief Communications Officer at the KC Pet Project. Tori, thanks for having us. Thank you so much uh -huh. for coming today. I'm already wowed by what I've walked into. This is quite an establishment. It is. It's a beautiful shelter, state-of-the-art facility here in Kansas City. And it's 54,000 square feet. We sit on 21 acres of land. Beautiful setting in the park here in Swope Park. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous facility. Well, let's, let's take us on a tour. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Okay, I'm here with Otter Pop, a brand new recruit. Looking for a home, by the way. Cute pup. Let's tell us about Otter Pop. Yeah, here. she's adorable. So she came in as a stray, and she was very, very skinny when she came in. And so we've been working on getting her a little bit more fattened up while she's with us. And today's her lucky day. She's going to go into a foster home, ah, which is fantastic. She gets to get out of the shelter and go into a home. And we always need more fosters. We sent uh, over 4,000 pets into foster homes just last year. Our son just adopted a pit bull from a foster, yeah. a foster parent, I guess, in Kansas City. So is that a new program, or it's newer, or it's becoming more popular? It's becoming very popular, and so is our Dog Day Out program. So uh -huh. this is a program where you can literally just check out a dog for the day, and you take uh -huh. them all around. You go to the park, go to a restaurant, go hang out. And we learn so much about them while they're out in the foster home or on a dog day out. And then they can also help us market them to help them find a home, which uh -huh. is what happened in uh, your case. Perfect. <laughs> well, that's great. Thank you again, Tori, for showing us around. It's a great place, by the way. Thank you so much for coming. It was a pleasure. It was our pleasure. And it's our pleasure to help Happy get a home. So remember, give Happy a home. Super sweet cat. So now we're here at the Lakeside Nature Center with Jackie Blessington, the director. Thanks for having us today. Yeah, thanks for coming over. Looking forward to getting a little tour. That would be awesome. Let's go inside yeah. where it's a little warmer. Yeah, that yeah. sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> in case nobody knows, Lakeside Nature Center is actually in the heart of Swope Park. We are a part of the Kansas City Parks and Rec system. And we have a bunch of hiking trails outside that people can get out on from dawn to dusk every day. The Nature Center itself is open Tuesday through Sunday from nine to four. And here's the best part, doesn't cost anything. Would you guys like to meet one of the animals that actually lives here at the Nature Center? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'm gonna take you to our oldest resident. This is Wilma. She's a very special turtle because she is almost 85 years old. You wouldn't know it by looking at her, right? She, she holds her age yet. well. Yes, she does. <laughs> they can obviously live to be into their hundreds. Who's this? So this is a hognose snake. And they get their name. Can you see, look really close? I see it. You see that little turned up snout? Their name from their nose, so hog nose. And they actually use that for digging in the dirt. This is one of the snakes that we use a lot for education programming. You'll have an opportunity for up close encounters like this where you can actually touch a snake. Okay. So if anybody knows they're nocturnal animals and they recognize this beautiful face, they'll know that it is a possum, or technically a Virginia possum. They're one of nature's cleanup crew. So they're going around cleaning up all the dead stuff out there. They're okay. super beneficial. They love to eat ticks and slugs and grubs. Once they've eaten up all the food in your yard that they want, they move on. They're very nomadic. <laughs> That's yeah. fascinating. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jackie. We appreciate everything that you've showed us today. You are so welcome. Lakeside Nature Center in general uh, has just been fascinating to see. Yeah, thanks, Jackie. Yeah, thanks for coming and seeing us today. Come back and see us we'll again. Back, definitely. definitely. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of American Dream TV. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Alice.
Allison Rank, and this is Selling Kansas City with the American Dream. I'm standing in my beautiful listing in Kansas City, which you will get to check out later. And then afterwards, we're gonna go downtown and see the historic Hotel Kansas City and learn all about that history. I can't wait to show you. We're gonna have so much fun. Come take a look at my listing in Kansas City. It is a beautiful five bedroom, five bath house on five beautiful acres. I really love this house because it is a bit of rustic with modern combined. It has gorgeous black grid modern windows with clean white lines throughout. Uh, the other cool thing about it is that it has two primary suites. So you have one on the main level and you have one on the second, which means you can decide how you wanna live here but it's a really great open floor plan with white oak cabinetry and white oak floors, white oak ceilings. You're really gonna love this. I can't wait to show you. All right, you got to see what Kansas City country living is all about. Now we're gonna head downtown and take a look at Hotel Kansas City and learn about the history that they have there. All right, I am standing in the basement of a very special hotel in Kansas City. Actually, the name is Hotel Kansas City. And I get the privilege of talking with Christopher here, who is the marketing director. He is a wealth of knowledge, so I'm really excited for you to hear more about what makes this hotel so special. One of it being the beautiful club we're in right now. Can you tell us about this? Yeah, this is Nighthawk. So this is our cellar bar and music space. It is open you know, Wednesday to Saturday, and it's open way, way late, opens at 7 p.m., and there's sort of current of local DJs mm -hmm. and local music acts. Mm -hmm. Kansas City's known for its jazz, but we have a very sort of eclectic and varied uh, content calendar here, so it's open way late. There are house-made seltzers called Night Claws. All of the bar program is fabricated here in-house. It's quick service, so you can get back out on the dance floor and enjoy the music. days a week is it open? It is open four days a week, Wednesday to Saturday uh, from 7 p.m. until way, way late. Uh, it'll be open till 2 a.m. on uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays and 3 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. So is there a history with this basement and how it became a club or a part of the social club before? Did they have music here before or did you guys decide to brand it? So the space that we're in right now, Nighthawk, used to be the bowling alley for mm -hmm. the Kansas City Club, which mm -hmm. was a men's social club mm -hmm. uh, that was in this building for, uh, since basically, this building was started construction in 1920. I was gonna say, I thought it was the 20s. Yeah, yeah. and opened in 1922. Okay. And for decades and decades, it was exclusively for men. They didn't allow female members that weren't mm. uh, wives of club members until the 80s, actually. And so we converted this you know, bowling alley space mm -hmm. into this cellar bar and music venue, which is very much in line with the music scene here in Kansas City. So 100 years later, you have a place that both men and women can come to enjoy their free time. Absolutely. Very fun. Yeah. Thank you Hotel Kansas City for being such a wonderful host for today's episode of Selling Kansas City with the American Dream. Until next time. Well, it's good to be back home in what I call the center of the world, Independence, Missouri. Welcome to the American Dream. I'm your host, Jonathan Goforth, and this is what makes Kansas City such a great place to live. The Harry S. Truman Presidential Library and Museum has just finished a $30 million renovation. There are all new exhibits 
throughout the museum, and many of the exhibits are now interactive. This is Cassie Pekarski. She is the director of strategic initiatives here at the Truman Library. What you have done here is amazing. You know, this has now become what is possibly the nicest presidential library in the United States. Well, thank you for that compliment. Um, we, we like to agree. Here in this museum, you can see the most dramatic chapters, arguably, in US history. The first of which is the dropping of the atomic bomb. So this is the safety plug from Fat Man. So it would have been in the bomb to make sure that it didn't go off while they were transporting it to the drop site. And now it is um, the center fold um, key object in our atomic bomb gallery. This is one of the brand new interactive exhibits. Cassie, tell us about this one. So this is our hard problems of peace globe. Even though the hard fought battle of war is now over, the work has really just begun in trying to figure out how to set up the world for a long-term peace so that World War II doesn't turn into World War III. This globe is showing everything that's happening in the world. On the outside galleries are Truman solutions to those issues. And they're really structures that are still being used for peace today. Um, one example of that is NATO. If there is anything inevitable in the future, it is the will of the people of the world for freedom and for peace. In addition to NATO, um, Truman really did a lot of things to set up the structure of the world and as our, of our nation as a whole. One of those things was his decision to desegregate the military, which he did right before the 1948 election. This is a replica of the Oval Office back from 1950. Many people look at the room and think it's incomplete because there isn't any furniture in the middle, which is what we're used to from looking at pictures of the Oval Office today. But actually during the Truman administration and administrations before that, they didn't have furniture in the middle of the room because this is where they held their press conferences. So they had to have room for all of the press to gather. We're in another special brand new exhibit here at the Truman Library. But first I wanna mention two famous houses here in Kansas City. The first one is the Truman Home. It's just a few blocks here from the Truman Library in Independence. That is where President Truman and his wife Bess lived. The other famous house is in Grandview, Missouri. That's the Truman Farm Home. But I want you to tell me about this exhibit. This is about the White House. So when Truman first moved into the White House, he jokingly wrote home that it was so noisy that he thought the ghosts of former presidents were walking around. When they had the building evaluated by architects, they realized that it was literally standing out of habit. Up above us is the beam that broke under the weight of his daughter's piano that was in her sitting room, and that's when they decided enough was enough. The White House had to be renovated. It would have been cheaper to knock the whole thing down. Instead, they decided to completely gut it and rebuild it from the inside out. There's a special section here at the Truman Library that is not open for the public to view. It's called the archives. It's under very tight security. The public never gets to come in here, but I'm so excited because we've been granted special access to show you a very special secret part of the Truman Library. Cassie, who gets to come in here? Well, as you can see, we have some researchers in here today. So they're all people that are interested in learning more about the Truman administration, whether they're doing um, research for a dissertation or writing a book or working on a documentary. Um, they've all come in today with a specific purpose to look at some specific papers from the Truman administration. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure having you give us this private tour of the Truman Library. Today's episode, I'm gonna to talk to you about KC Barbecue and take you through one of my favorite luxury homes in Kansas City. I'm Cami Jones and I'm your host for American Dreams Selling KC. Welcome to the city that I love. When you think of Kansas City, how do you not think barbecue? I'm here and I'm gonna show you one of Kansas City's best hidden gems. Let's go meet this business owner 
and see how he's living his American dream. Let's go. Hi, I'm with Mitch, the owner of Meet Mitch. Mitch, thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you. I really appreciate you coming, talking to me. I am so excited to be here tonight. When you think of Kansas City, you think of barbecue. Tell me all about Meet Mitch. Well, Meet Mitch really started as a competition barbecue team. So we've been traveling the country, competing in some of the world's largest events for over 20 years. And from that, um, I have a line of sauces and rubs and now restaurants. So welcome. I am excited. So when you think of Kansas City, most people think the stereotype of barbecue. Tell me what sets you apart from all this great barbecue here in Kansas City. Well, yeah, barbecue is very popular across the country in different regions. Um, we're famous here in Kansas City for, you know, a, a beautiful, luxurious, sweet sauce with a little bit of heat. Um, we love our burn ends because we are the birthplace of burn ends, which is a point of the brisket, which we all enjoy. We really specialize in all the meats, not just one. For instance, if you're in Texas, they're really kind of brisket, beef focused. We do everything well. Well, you've been perfecting these rubs, sauces for over a decade now, and now you have this amazing restaurant here in Leewood, Kansas. How long has this restaurant been open? We opened uh, the first of the year, so uh, we're open seven months now. Well, it is an amazing restaurant. Thank you. Um, Mitch, tell me what's next with Meet Mitch. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to an opportunity to open in the new KCI Airport. So uh, the build out will be done at the end of December and open for business uh, March of 2023. We'll have a Meet Mitch where six million people a year will walk by and see my brand and hopefully uh, eat my food. Well, of course they will, that's amazing. <laughs> I wish you all could smell it in here. I cannot wait for you to get a taste of Meet Mitch. If you want more information on Meet Mitch, go to meetmitch.com. Let's take this barbecue and go check out one of my favorite luxury homes in Kansas City. So here we are, we're with my teammate Mandy, and we are excited to show you this amazing luxury house south of the city in Overland Park. Mandy, what are we gonna see today? We're in a gated community called Rockwood Falls Estates. This home sits on three acres, over 15,000 square feet. We can't wait to show you all these amazing features. Let's, Let's go. go. Here we are in this incredible custom contemporary kitchen. We've got chef's appliances, inset cabinets, a waterfall island. This is everyone's dream. Welcome to my favorite part of this home. This is every entertainer's dream. Look around this home. Why would anyone ever want to leave? If this were my home, this is where you'd find me. Check out this incredible custom wine room. Actually, you know what? Let's grab a bottle. Cami, wanna head out to the pool? Thank you so much for helping me show this amazing house today. Of course, I may never leave. I don't think I'll leave either. And thank you for joining in today's episode of American Dream Selling KC. If you are in the Kansas City area, our team would love to help you. You can learn more by checking us out at KamieJonesHomes.com and be sure to follow us on Instagram at KamieJonesCollaborative. Thank we'll see you. See you next time. with American Dream TV selling Kansas City. We are at Arrowhead Stadium in the parking lot tailgating, waiting for the Chiefs to play football. Lamar Hunt brought our team here in 1963 to start the tradition. As you know, Kansas City's known for tailgating, barbecue, and of course, football. We love our football. We have lots of good food, lots of friends. We're excited for the game. I've been a season ticket holder for over 30 years, but it doesn't compare to the Kilby's. How long have you had your season tickets, Scott? Well, our season tickets, we kept them in our, our my dad's name, and they go back to 1966. Wow. Uh, I go back to uh, the Wolfpack and uh, climbing uh, the scoreboard <laughs> to watch the games in, in the old stadium, so. Wow. And Ava, you have been a season ticket holder for a long time too. Well, we were season ticket holders and started moving around the country. And when my daughter decided to go to medical school here, 
We still are in Nashville, but we immediately bought tickets. So we have been, we drive back and forth for every game. Thanks to Jenny, we found a place here in Kansas City, a townhouse, so now we have a place for our chief stuff to live. Awesome. We have so much fun tailgating tonight for the first Chiefs game. We are so excited for the season. Later on, we're gonna take you to the Challenger Fields so you can see how these kids enjoy playing their game of football. Let's talk to one of the coaches, Reagan Schur. Actually, she's the Senior Director of the Adaptive Programs at the Y. Reagan, tell us a little bit about the program. The YMCA Challenger program is for kids through adults who have diverse abilities and special needs. We generally start about age four, and um, our kids and young adults don't age out of the program. So uh, where we used to stop at maybe 16 or 18, now a lot of those folks are 30, 31. Mm -hmm. So it's a great place to stay connected to, and that's really what Challenger is. So we keep folks um, involved, our athletes involved through sports. So one night a week for six weeks, we play sports like basketball, flag football, um, baseball, soccer. We throw in wow. some bowling and cheerleading here and there. And um, the kids and athletes are helped by volunteers. So while they participate, if they need physical assistance or um, maybe just um, some demonstration or even hand over hand, the volunteers come into play and help them add, guide them as they participate. Okay. Great. Reagan, what benefits do you see for the athletes and their families? A lot of benefits actually. Not only do the kids and athletes come to exercise, but they're they're keeping their schedule, they're, they're dressing out, they're showing up on time or at least coming, they're getting that repetition in. And when they get to the field, they might be here for basketball or soccer or bowling, but they're seeing their friends, they're interacting. It's a highly social activity that we're doing. So they show up for football, but they're getting so much more. Okay. They have patience, they have to maybe wait their turn, share, maybe have some different confrontations, but this is a safe place to do so. So if someone needs a break to the side, sit down, maybe they're upset, and maybe they're just ready to enjoy it. We mm -hmm. kind of have um, the gamut where people can just come and enjoy themselves, and the parents really feel this is a safe place as well. That way their kids can you know, kind of grow and get to know one another socially in a, in a safe environment and also exercise and, and learn the skills of the game. Wonderful. Reagan, thank you so much for all you do for these kids. We really appreciate it. You bet. It's an honor to get to know and work with the families and volunteers yeah. and those athletes and our donors and sponsors, those in the community that help spread the word about the program and yep. also give gifts from the heart just to support us as we can do, so we can do what we can do. Thank you so Great. much. Well, we had a blast today at Arrowhead and the Challenger Fields. Again, I'm Jenny Burkhead with the Jenny Burkhead Group and we'll see you next episode on American Dream TV. Well, that's our episode of American Dreams Selling Kansas City. My name is Adriana Bates and I've enjoyed hosting you as we've toured around this amazing city with our top real estate professionals. Tune in with us next time and don't forget to follow us on our socials at the American Dream TV. So that's it and don't forget, cheers to your American dream.